Holy man will lie, Celestia, yeah. Jack, Rastafari. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yes, this is legal, voice of the ghetto. Born in St. Lucia, but grew up in Jamaica, Clarendon, Jamaica. No, I have been to France many times. Um, the first time I came to France, I think, was 2012. 2012? Yeah. Yeah, um, well, growing up in Jamaica, Norris, um, I know Norris from a long, long time in Jamaica. You know, and, um, it was like 2016 we won a tour in the Senegal. Okay. And whilst we won, we decided to do so. Whilst we were just chilling in the wheelchair, we just freestyle. And that's how we started. It was from a freestyle. Okay. Yeah, leave there. Yeah, there's producers from Jamaica, there's producers from Senegal, okay. and um, there's producers from France and Martin. Um, well, um, Old Capital, Old Capital Music, which is good and fire, you know. Um, and Martinique, we have GRCs where, um, where Martinique is based. Um, sorry, yeah, Martinique. Yeah, right now we are there, we are there promoting the album, Life and Time. Yes, we did, we did. We, we always work together where there is a um, producing or, uh, you know, on the phone, we always help each other and then we have to you know. yeah. So we always try to keep that form of communication. Like all the time. Whether it's our bomb or whatever, we always try to keep the form of communication, you know? Yeah. Yes, um, well, the people are supposed to expect a next album from the end of this year. But right now we're trying to put down, we're trying to be a little bit more on stage right now. We're trying to buy it by the I'm going to try to do hard things a little bit. After we leave, we're going to be heading to Harry Cross yeah. next month. Harry Cross. Yeah, we have a jam. We have a show there, show on June 8th. Okay, yes, yeah, so and throughout the summer we're going to be out there, we're going to be in fresh yeah, Ghana. Come inside, you know, come inside, yeah. come take the price. We never book for the big festival, but hopefully we soon. Alright. Yeah. Okay. Because knowing how the industry run, how the industry is going today, it's going different. You know, there's a lot of preference, a lot of you find that the best the, the best artist is what I getting the most fight. You know, yeah. Yeah, I would love to work with all the big with all the um, producers that have a name that are that established in the I love to work with them in the, in the future, you know. And you don't really must you, you you don't have to have a name for me to work with you know, as long as you're a good producer, a young producer with a, with a good talent and you focus with what you're doing. Yes, why not? I give it a try. Well yeah, there is like, yeah, there's um there's I would I would love to work with you know. Because um that's how it goes, you know, strength to strength. You know, and be there to help to help each other to reach that infinite level. Yeah, so Always looking back to give back. Yeah. I'm trying to help you. Same like how Norris helped me. I have to look forward to help all of you. Yeah. I see, I see Norris. <laughs> Apart from Norris. Man. Well, there's lots of artists. I can have uh, the list. The, the list goes on and on and on and on. Starting from Bob Marley, the Wheelers, you know. Yeah, there's Midnight, yeah, Happy Becca, where, you know, yeah, you know. There's a lot of good musicians out there. Well, I listen to R&B music. Yeah, I listen to um, ska music, you know, yeah. Sometimes I listen to a little, a little calypso, depending on, on the message of the calypso music. Yeah, because every music carries a message, right? Yes. Yeah. So sometimes I give a little rec, I give a little soak, a little calypso, I mean, calypso, yeah. yeah. I do care what's going on, but I'm not really a politician. Yeah, but at the end of the day, I can't say I don't care. So I do care about people, feelings, and what people are going through. We are working, we all are working together. Yeah, for regular music. Regular music.
music is the only music that will speak about everything concerning poverty and the history of where we're coming from, etc. Well, probably if you listen to hip hop music, it's more about the the, glitter, the you know the materialistic things. And if you listen to the soca music, it's more about party and shaking the booty and stuff like that. The reggae music is one of the music that will teach that will teach you about poverty and you know yeah, our, our history, slavery, etc. Et yeah, the great, the great band, the great band Peter Tash, Van Wheeler, the, those that set it, the foundation artists, yeah, you know, Garnet Silk and so much artists as I say, those that was there before, those that paved the way, yeah. Well, thank you for your time. Alright, bless and love, sister, yeah? One love. Big up. <laughs>